How we're good. How are you? Can I give you a pamphlet of why we're out here today? I've, I've got a oh. whole list to stand up. Oh, oh, does that help? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't bring my cane. I'm Stephanie, by the way. Dave uh, is your name? Yeah, Dave. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, who is your leader here? We, our leader is Jesus Christ. We don't really have a leader here. Um, no, no, we're a group of people. No, no. I mean, here, I know he's my leader too. <laughs> but who, who is your the <laughs> appointed leader here? Um, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There is no appointed leader. We're just followers of Jesus Christ, standing up for the unborn and calling Christians to help, to do the same. Okay. That we feel yeah, like, I mean, the, if you want to say the men are the ones that help lead me, of course, no, right? Yeah, I'm the right. woman here. Yeah. <laughs> I need a man to lead me. God calls me that. So I, if you're asking for someone who I, leads my family, that would be the men here. Yeah, you've been reading First Peter <laughs> to know that. Yes, okay. exactly. So okay. they would be the men here. Uh, oh. My husband's down the way. But okay. You're more than welcome to talk with them as well. Yeah. Um, but just so you know, we're calling Christians to be Christian. That's all. Right. Um, yep. There's so many churches in Texas that aren't standing up for in anything. They're being lulled to sleep. Uh, um, do you know what the um, what this church believes? Yes, we believe we believe that you guys believe you're pro-life. Yeah. And okay. and you stand up for the okay. unborn from a giving I, to CPCs and etc. However, there are so many churches in Texas right and there are thousands and thousands of babies being murdered every day it let me just... let me say this i'm glad you're here that that doesn't bother me a bit that that, that you're here I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad of that and i give to uh pro-life i'm you know since i'm here i'll go ahead and <laughs> yeah and ask you thank you for coming and asking <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> Uh, because I thought, well, maybe they don't know what we believe. No, that, we do. That, that We go to the good man's house. That's what we do. Okay, so if you... Uh, I was just thinking it would seem like it would be more appropriate to go to some churches that don't uh, believe uh, or, or want pro-life. So it, to us, it's more appropriate to go to the people that do know okay. because they're the ones that are hiding their eyes. So when we say hiding your eyes is that you know, but a lot of Christians aren't doing anything about it. So yeah. giving to a CPC doesn't necessarily help. Now you're helping women that need help. That's great. That's not a bad thing. A crisis pregnancy center, which I know you guys have. Yeah. And so that's great. However, there are thousands and thousands of people that go to churches that call themselves pro-life. Uh -huh. If they all stood up against this, it would be illegal in the state. They're, the orphans that are ready to be adopted out of foster care, there would yeah. be no more. Yeah. If Christians stood up to do something, that's the problem. The pastors here aren't doing enough to, to encourage and send out their people, their flock, yeah. to go do the work, okay. right? Yeah. People are comfortable of sitting in an hour service and then going home. Yeah. That's what we're calling Christians yeah. for. Oh, okay. Does that make sense there? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, <laughs> we I, love I, the church. I mean, we're the church. <laughs> uh -huh. As much uh -huh. as you guys are. Okay. Good. These are my uh -huh. kids that we adopted out of foster care. Oh, really? Um, they're out helping us raise awareness, you know, and these are our friends that have come up to, to help uh -huh. support. And okay. We just love you guys, and so we don't want people to be lulled to sleep, as the Bible puts it, right? We want people to wake up that this is in our midst. People are dying every day in oh, our yeah. in our midst. Yeah. Yeah, that's and true. you guys are people that believe okay. and know. I see. Okay. So, okay. All right. I just... Can I give you one of these, sir, before you walk away, just so you can read it later? And Oh, I have really... looked at that. I, oh, you have? Okay. I, yeah, that hurts to see that. I know. Um, and, uh, that's what we tell you. We don't like standing out I here with these pictures. I, it hurts us. I don't us. know what else to do other than... Um, talk to our reps uh, in Austin and, and in D.C., uh, donate, I, I don't know what else to do. So, you know what, we stand up against it by talking about it, yeah. that is huge, right? Yeah. Standing up against it. The problem is most people don't, they keep it silent because it's a political issue, right? That They keep it silent. And so these babies yeah. don't want us to be silent. They is want us this, to- Is this guy taking a selfie of his <laughs> preaching? Yeah, he's on uh, Facebook Live probably. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, so getting it out there to say, this is what yeah. we're doing. Okay. 
Okay. So we do it in the light, right? We don't hide anything yeah. of what we do. Okay, very good. Well, so we're the Abolitionist I'm, Society of Little Elm. I'm, I'm glad you all are here. Thank you, Dave. Thank you yeah. so much for stopping to talk with us. Because a lot of people don't. They just go on in and think we're crazy people out here, which we're really not, I promise. <laughs> no, I, you know, I really think the people going by are saying, I'm, I'm glad they're here. But why but are they it, here? But it seems like they would uh, be more uh, effective to reach people that disagree with you. Actually, and, one lady said that as she came in. She said, you should be at the Methodist church down the street, right? Yeah. Well, they're pro-choice, right? I mean, they're going to be a lot hard. Granted, yes, we would love for them to be pro-life and, and save the babies. Yeah. But the problem is Christian people are sitting in churches and pews aren't doing anything. They're the good people. Why aren't they doing anything? They know the truth. Well, I'm one of them, but what else is there to do? We just want people, and God will tell you what to do, right? Because, of course, you're going to say, I can't adopt kids. I can't, like, right. I get it. However, we can stand up for that and speak it, right? Speak the truth to the, the people around us, the congregations. The We need to be doing something. There should be Christians out at the abortion clinic trying to save these babies. There's not. There's Catholics, right? Where are all the Christians? Yeah. Well, now, some of those Catholics could be Christians. Yeah. Well, yeah. my point is the evangelical Christians aren't yeah. there. Right. Right? Well, and there's thousands of them in Texas. Sometimes, uh, you know, I don't know of where an abortion clinic is. But they're in Dallas. Luckily, yeah. luckily, there's none up here. Uh, However, you know what? They're at every Walmart, every, because now they can buy the pill over the counter. Yeah. Which can abort a baby early, right. early on. So it's everywhere. Yeah. And as okay. people that believe, it, God yeah, requires us to stand up. We're in trouble. You're right. We're, we're in we're trouble. In trouble. Uh, so we're uh, out here saying, God "Hey guys." God these babies crying. Well, oh, Dave. Okay. Thank I, you I so much for stopping. I appreciate it, now, Dave. That's good. God bless. Thank you. Careful. It's kind of uneven ground over there. <laughs>